Almost half of all Australian adults will experience mental ill health at some point in their lives. And I'm one of them. About four years ago, I had a huge breakdown. Actually, my whole body just shut down and I couldn't get out of bed. I've spent two decades in the public eye as a performer on stage and screen. On the outside, my life looked perfect. But inside, I was suffering. I would have like six showers a day and kind of sit on the ground and put myself in the fetal position. I didn't know it was my mind. I just, I didn't know what was happening. And I thought, if this is my lot, I can't, I, it, it's ter it was terrifying. But I'm not alone. And now an important conversation is building momentum. Men of my era wouldn't even complain about having an ache in the back so there's no way in the world you would open up about having a mental health issue. Green awareness ribbons represent the five million Australians who suffer from mental health problems every year. And the problem is only growing. It's a very vulnerable thing. It is a leap of faith to talk about mental health. We've decided to do more than just talk about it. Over 10 days, seven Australians from all walks of life will take part in a specially designed art workshop to test whether immersing themselves in creativity can improve their mental well-being. I think my perception of art therapy is that it's a little bit uh, wanky. <laughs> but this isn't just any art class. I feel like this is part of a miracle. There's something fundamentally has shifted inside me that's allowed me to express myself. Wow, oh my. They'll be guided by specialist art psychotherapist Nula Diamantopoulos. So what are you noticing? <laughs> Three, two, With the support of renowned Australian artists. All will be revealed. Oh my God. Can creativity give them new tools to express buried emotions? I felt my body shaking. Overcome roadblocks. I think you found your thing. <laughs> and help them cope with the too hard basket. Wow. That you've nailed it. Facing various mental health hurdles, including depression, PTSD and anxiety, the participants will be monitored by leading expert, Professor Catherine Boydell and her research team from the Black Dog Institute. That sounds really good. Using a range of scientific methods, they'll track what happens to their brains, bodies and emotions as they create art. The hope for this experiment is that we'll have the scientific evidence to demonstrate that arts and creativity has a positive impact on mental health and well-being, and to take this evidence and advocate for arts on prescription across Australia. Right. If the experiment works, could this be a new prescription for mental health? It's not about the production of some amazing piece of artwork, it's about the process. It gives you a new narrative, a story that will reveal something to you and become insightful for you and for your healing. That's the magic it can bring. Fingers crossed. If there's something that will help me, I want to be part of it.